Hello, my name's uh, Laurie Ridgway. I own LR Silver Jewellery. My specialism is silver clay, and I'm here to tell you today about my top five tools that I use when I make my silver clay jewellery. My first tool is the badger balm. Um, badger balm you need for wherever your clay is going to touch any items like your, your worksheet or your tile or your roller or anywhere like that you need to put a little bit of badger balm on just to stop the clay from sticking on there and not being able to be, to be moved. Um, you also can put it on your hands which stops your clay from sticking to your hands. The second one is uh, the rubber tip tools. Uh, these come in four or five different uh, ends so that you can use them for different processes as you go along with your silver clay. Um, they're very good for moving the clay around without causing any dents or dinks in, in the clay as you go along. Um, you can move syringe clay with it as well if you put a little bit of water on the end of your, your needle tool and you can use them to smooth out or take away any excess clay that's left over. Number three is my clay scraper which has got a number of different names, clay scraper or cutter or uh, all sorts of different things. Um, that's very good for cutting the clay. It's also good for lifting and moving the clay, um, especially if you've got longer nails and you don't want to put any nail marks into your clay. Um, it's also good for moving your pieces on and off the hot, the hot plate so that you don't burn your fingers as you're moving your, your piece. Um, just uh, if you are going to do that, make sure you put your hand over the piece when you move it so that it doesn't fall off onto the floor and smash. The needle tool is very good for cutting out in the wet clay, so tracing around your pattern to cut your clay out. Also for cutting to the edge and removing the clay around when you've used a cutter to cut it out. If you're going to have an inside shape in your piece, it's also very good for lifting the inside piece out once you've cut it. Another thing the needle tool is very good for is once you've got your dry piece of clay, you can draw a pattern on it, put a little bit of water over the top and then scrape over the top of your pattern and that will give you a nice engraved pattern in your piece of jewellery. The last one is the roller and spacers. You generally need at least two different thicknesses spacers and they help to make a nice even thickness when you roll the clay out. They're very good on the texture. If you use the thicker ones first and roll your clay out so it's almost the right shape and then once you put the thinner ones on just give it one good roll over your texture and it'll give you a nice smooth even texture and a nice thickness all the way along your piece.